Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Battle for the Bosphorus as Byzantine Empire. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have invaded the Soviet Union. Um, is that the right idea? I don't know, but it's the idea that I've taken. And so far, I mean, it's going fine. I mean, how much manpower does the Soviets have? About 11 million, so I mean, qu quite a bit. So right now we have seven divisions on this front. Honestly, let's throw all 14 down here for right now. The Cox invasion force looks like it's doing okay. Keep on marching ever so slightly up. Why are we having this penalty? We have a lot of political power. But, like, doesn't that happen when war support's too low? Or maybe because maybe we've lost enough, enough manpower? I'm really not too sure. Wait, what are we on? We're on service by requirement. So they might be a little bit upset by that. Because they're cowards. I mean, I would like to deploy more troops whenever I can. I don't, again, I don't really care about their quality right now. I just really care about whether or not, uh... They're, if they have able bodies, you come here. We were way towards Thessalonica. How many troops do you think are actually in Greece right now? I don't know. Also, all of this is now starting to fall apart. That's actually really bad. That's definitely not what I wanted here. I think that goes without saying. Move up like this. Hmm. I don't like that the Allies have managed to take over parts of Austria now. I mean, Vichy France. We really need Vichy France not to be a part of anything. Is Hungary actually going to capitulate? They might end up capitulating. Yeah, no, I think I think we maybe have spread our lines a little bit too thinly here, to be quite honest with you. So I guess we'll go the coward's way out. We'll reload our save. Because, yeah, I We we need to make sure the Allies are not in Europe anymore. That's our number one priority before we even attack the Soviet Union. So unfortunately we gotta cut back uh, on that for now. We still have our Costas Belly. And it's actually kind of fine if we have it. Because if we have our CB... Here's the way I look at it. We have our CB. That means that the... Soviets will have troops over here. While the Japanese are invading. Until our Costas Belly actually expires. Which I think takes a few months. And we'll just never declare the war. We'll go over here. We'll try to make sure the... Yeah, come over here. I'm trying to make sure the allies don't have... Like, we, we gotta make sure they don't have any troops here. Right? Like, the allies can't have a foothold in Europe. Otherwise, they will be able to do that kind of counterattack, which we just saw. So we need to kill Italy. Then we can attack the Soviet Union. I think the Soviet Union will still kind of capitulate relatively quickly. Can Japan... Needs to fight on hard. Lee, your orders, you guys are going to come up to here. Unless, of course, the Soviets or the Germans decide to declare war on the other one. Okay, so you come up to here. We need to deal with this situation. So we got we got to capture the support for sure. So you guys all come over to here. Don't need to worry about that for now. I mean, like, but like, what what front works? Like, what front makes sense? 
What if we invade Britain? Like, I, I've, I don't know. Like, I think we gotta try something, tr like, out of the, like, we gotta try something different, right? That's the way I see it right now. Also, then, of course, go for uh, suppressing resistance. For at least right now. Because I know we don't have enough uh, garrisons. We're missing a little bit of artillery, but that's actually kind of fine. Artillery is like the least important one here. Red 64. That German unit is definitely dead. There's no way in hell he's going to survive. Bye bye. Like, how do we. Okay, well, Purple Army's arrived. They're now on the scene. There's so many allied units. Oh, God. Can I cancel my Costas Belly? I don't think so. We even know this. Let me you don't have that many troops on this front. Less than you would expect. Uh, let's then go for... We can hold off the allies, I think, indefinitely. Apparently, we have air superiority. If we can get, like, an encirclement... Like, take away their port, get an encirclement here. We should be able to kill them all off. I mean, France... Does Free France actually have any territory? Yes, they do. But very, very little of it. Hmm. Maybe try to fight our way in through you. God, they have so many men. That it scares me a little bit. But I think we are going to maybe get that encirclement I was talking about. Oh no, you're technically not encircled because you have one more province there. But you don't have a port. And not having a port is still pretty good. I think they're trying to break their way out. That No, that's hungry. I was thinking that was South Africa, but I think we're probably at war with South Africa if I had to take a guess. Are you considered a, a straight crossing? No, you're not. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't really get a nice surround on here as much as I would like to. We really need to get him out of Yugoslavia. Once, once we're out of Yugoslavia, I think our life does become easier. You know, let's get the super heavy tank. Why not, you know? We'll, we'll build, like, one division of it and maybe try to get something to work. Because right now we have 66 heavy tanks, but we basically don't make any of them. So the Allies currently are at 7 million lost. We're at 5 million, but I think that's also including the Japanese and the Soviets. We still have our CB against them. And the British are starting to actually make some headway here. Combat with is pretty low. We did get some better anti-tank weapons, so we'll get a little bit more hard attack. After that, honestly, let's go for Night Vision 2. It's, like, so expensive, but I still think we kind of want to take it. I don't like this front right here. So, you know, Green Army? You guys come to here. That seems fine. I kind of wish our cost of belly would expire. <laughs> and also, now the Soviet units are beating Japanese. If, if the Soviets beat the Japanese, that is really, really bad. Like, horrible. Horrible news that that happens. Like, we can still try to Barbarossa, but... 
It's gonna be a little bit scary. Because we kind of, we really want those, uh, we really want the Soviets on the two-front war, right? We also want Vichy France to eventually join our faction, but, like, there's not that makes them so they never do. Like, I don't think so. The British have tried, or the, yeah, British tried to land in Normandy, it's gonna fail. Apparently there's an invasion of Asia Minor going on somewhere, but it looks like otherwise we're still kind of okay. And you won't join yet, still until March. So maybe in March we'll get Spain to join, but like, what does Spain joining do? It gets us another country to on our side, yes. But... I mean, what if we invade Vichy France? What's... here? My question is, like, what faction would they join? If they join the Allies, that's fine. But if they join the Japanese, that's horrible. Because they're, they're fascist, right? No, I think they would join the Allies. They're, they're guaranteed by the Germans, but I don't think that makes any difference whatsoever. Like, we would somehow need Italy to clear war on Vichy France, or... Wait, does Italy have a claim? No. Unfortunately, they don't. I'm surprised actually they don't have a claim on a Corsica or something like that. Do we know how many... What do we know about your stockpile? You have 6,000 rifles, which honestly isn't that much. We're really just throwing men and men into this uh, meat grinder, and hopefully, uh... Seeing if it might work out for us. But we want to, like, it's a, it's a tricky balance between we want the Americans to die and we want the Soviets to die. But we can't have the Allies have all of Greece, right? All of this because I wanted to take over, um... Makeshift bridges, I don't think is going to do anything for us here. What if I force attack in? It's risky, but if it gets an encirclement on this many allied troops, it might still be worth it. Yeah, so do that. We'll be on the defense. You'll try to fight your way out. I don't know how many how many troops are actually in this province. I mean, there's a lot. British Raj has capitulated, which means that the Japanese and the Soviets now have a border over here. Looks like they might push their way into Mongolia. Get them to capitulate as well. God, what a weird war, man. What a strange, strange conflict I've created. This is not, like, this isn't a port, right? No. It's got a naval defense port, but, you know, that doesn't help anybody. I mean, Germany has these, this, like, this many troops defending right now. Our cost of belly did expire, so the Soviets are probably now going back to the Japanese front. Like, here's the thing. Like, we've got to take risky moves. What if we try to invade the Vichy French? Have Germany send a bunch of troops on that border. Spain might want to join that war as well. But it's, what it's going to do, I think, is it's going to increase the amount of troops. I mean, that, that's going to, it's going to be a much larger border for the Allies to have to hold. And we want to weaken the Allies as much as we possibly can. But, of course, I'm worried that they'll join the Japanese. I mean, Germany sending troops over here? I mean, the Frisian French are moving troops over. This guy has to ca just cancel justification, actually. At least for right now. Yeah, so you're encircled. You are still pretty entrenched. I don't know how you have any supplies, to be honest. Uh, apparently, you do have air superiority, though, which is not fantastic. Can I upgrade any of my generals? I can't throw a planner. Defense plus 10% is pretty good. I will like breakthrough plus 10%, but unfortunately we don't have that. Okay, you're already basically as good as I want you to be. I guess I'll go for unyielding defender for a little bit more defense. 
Okay, that army has been completely stack wiped. Which I think was one of the problems that we were facing with uh the thing with the allies. Like America is the problem, right? Intervention in the Americas, I don't know what their plan there is. But the United States has a lot of troops. Which is scary. I'm just trying to say, like, does, does a war with Fiji, France make sense? The answer is, like, no, and just, and just hope. Banner, I mean, they're getting closer to an occupation. I'm pretty sure any occupation means that Germany declares war on them. Or they get immediately annexed by Germany. Either of those do help us out. I think we also have to take over Greece. I think once Greece is taken care of, I don't know, but like there's, there's so many allied troops. Like we win 88% of battles, so I guess that's something, right? Japan should probably get Mongolia to capitulate soon. I mean, if the Soviets capitulate to the Japanese, I still think that's fine, right? Let's try to say, like, what's something uh, like what's something weird we can do? Like, if we attack Iran, they'd probably join the Allies. I'll create another front line of the Soviet Union. I mean, what else? Like, Japan... I mean, we basically have all the Allies we possibly can at this point. I don't think anybody else is going to be coming to our aid. Other than, yeah, uh, other than maybe the Spanish. I mean, if Spain joins our faction, then I think I would definitely want to... I would then, I think I want to invade Vichy France, because they would be able to provide, like, a second front for us. That's really about it. I guess we'll go for you, follow that up with the technology in... Motorized? No, I mean, I'm not going to build motorized. That's, like, the problem, right? Let's go over to concentrated industry. I mean, it's 1943, so it makes sense that you want to get this technology now. I mean, the Soviet Union is very scary. They're, they're very scary. Oh, we have, like, I think we have to do something, like, drastic. Which is why I think, like, an invasion of, like, Britain might be, like, our best course of action. As, like, again, as strange as it sounds. All of you, go here. You can't go through the Suez, right? Oh, no, submarines can. Do no, not always. Do not engage. I think maybe we. I think maybe we try to navally invade Britain. Like it's, like that, that can't be the right option. though. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Who's who's? I mean, Peru's in the Japanese faction. You're trying to intervene in the Americas. What's that do for you? We're playing green, but you can't attack any of these people anyways. That's, that's a D-Day. I mean, I mean, the Allies have landed in, in Normandy. Which is a little bit worrying. But I guess these are mostly American troops. They're not actually British divisions. I think the Germans will probably drive them back into the sea. The Spanish now can join a faction. Wait, you're in the... You're in the Axis! Go, 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 go! Holy shit, I never saw this day coming. 
actually thought they were going to get annexed right away, but... Uh, you guys immediately disband. Uh, move your troops over to this side of Italy, please and thank you. And this doesn't go to the Soviets because it's our core territory. So try to take back Greece. Vichy France is doing beautiful work now. Just creating a second front line really is enough. And they've now met a little bit of Italian resistance. Our troops are on the way. That's actually a massive naval invasion of the north. That scares me a little bit. So I think I actually delete your plan. You come to this front line. Delete your plan. We won't it will ignore Italy for now and make sure the British and the allies don't land in uh, northern France. Let the Soviets deal with that. That's not my, it's not my problem anymore. That's a, that's the Soviets' problem. Yeah, our troops are now arriving. I mean, this is a, this is scary, but I mean, part of it is going to the Vichy French because I guess Vichy France actually has cores on all this. So actually, when it gets retaken, it actually goes back to uh, Vichy France. Yeah, let's go take Milan. And really, this is like the best breakthrough we've had in a while, really. Vichy France, you're a lifesaver. But I do think that for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Now, do it, close thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.